Welcome back to The Handy Landlord. I know you guys have been dying to know where I've been. Um, I've received uh, zero comments asking uh, when your next video is coming out. So I just wanted to let you guys know that uh, since January 1st, I was uh, battling with some COVID issues. I was only out for about four days, but I got an ear infection and then I just had, uh, yeah, I had some massive pain in my ear. I actually didn't eat for uh, three or four days. So I'm uh, working on my January uh, weight loss program. So I have been uh, working. I just recently started back working. Uh, this is actually a paid job, but I actually installed these cabinets, did some trim here, countertop, uh, did some plumbing underneath there. But I am back to work. I'm still out here working, uh, feeling a lot better, and I am actually happy to be back working. So I am not a person that uh, wants to stand around and do nothing. But um, I will say that I was, I was disappointed that I got it because I had several videos of the previous place that I just got done turning and rented. Uh, I had several videos ready to go and I wanted to start off January and release them all. But unfortunately, I got behind on paperwork, I got behind on repairs. All right, so here's a little update. Had this carpet in here changed. There's several little patches. Wasn't too impressed with this little area right there, but it's all good. Uh, making a list of repairs. I need to fix this door. I'm trying to figure out if I need to paint or if I need to just clean the walls, but there are some damages. And here's the bathroom. I just sprayed some bleach and trying to clean some of that tub, some of the grout in there. Uh, I probably peed in that toilet, didn't flush it, trying to conserve water. Uh, <laughs> on this turn, this turn's not too bad, so I'm just going to go ahead and replace that toilet. It's old Kohler toilet. I'm not a fan of Kohler toilets, so if I have the opportunity and uh, the time, I go ahead and get them out of here. But I need to replace this flooring. It looks terrible. This is a slab house, meaning that this is concrete. They laid wood down. This is wood. They laid wood down and thin the tile on top of it. I'm not a professional tiler, but uh, why? Especially in a bathroom where you have moisture. So a little bit uh, puzzled by why they would try to glue down wood and then put the tile on top of it. Um, the nice thing is it's coming up <laughs> very easily. <laughs> all wet. We got that mold. That's always the easiest spot to put the toilet is in the tub. No, I did not do that. Um, it was already like that, so I just busted that off because that bolt's not coming out, so it's just spinning. So. Just be careful if you do do that. You don't want to get a bunch of stuff down in the drain. Uh, that bolt was just spinning, and then this is extremely sharp. Carpet guys did get this patch done. I have a 
This is some drywall minor stuff. This is actually one of the better turns that I've ever done. This, they patch this spot too. This back area, I think I need to add some uh, insulation to the attic, so that's one of the things on my list. Carpet guys patched a little spot, yeah, right there. They also patched a spot right here. So, it's pretty good. Uh, carpet has went up. This is actually very cheap carpet, it's junk. But uh, yeah, it's went up, uh, I think for a seven, I think it's uh, $4.59 a square yard now for this uh, cheap carpet. Um, this job, I got just this living room, uh, was 12 by 18. That's a little bit extra to do some of the patching and uh, I want to say it was $120 and then to patch all those spots and to lay this living room they just peeled it up they leave it for me the hallway uh, they charged me $225 so yeah need to fix that cabinet they're in paint I do have to look into that this is a new roof on this property but all of that all of the paint right here peeled off and it almost I mean it's not water stained but it almost looks like water and then like something over here like I don't know if something it kind of looks like I don't know if this is like soot like it almost kind of looks like something caught on fire I'm not really sure um still trying to figure that out uh the tenant not really in communication with her you can see all the grease up there on the wall and then up there on the right along that edge. So, so overall, this place is not bad. Uh, tenant left it in really good shape. Uh, she was a Section 8 tenant. Kind of weird situation. She just kind of gave up her voucher.